All right, welcome back to Old Man Tech. Today we're going to be installing the latest full release of Kodi. Uh, this is 17.0, which is codenamed Krypton. And if you look at the uh, the logo of 17.0, you will see. Oh, sorry, there is a motorcycle behind me, so <laughs> sorry about that. A little bit loud, but anyway, if you see the logo there of 17.0, looks almost like a Superman type logo, right? It's got the uh, the K for Cody, but it looks like in a almost like a Superman thing. So there's Krypton. So anyway, let's go ahead and install. It. Very very easy to install. Now, um, you know, I will install it, get to the full install of it, and then show you a couple of the settings in it and some of the places that the old version, 16.1, uh, you know, it looked one way. 17.0 looks a totally different way. So some of those things, such as where your uh, file manager is and how you add add-ons and all that is a little bit different so I'll, I'll give you a quick little um, you know little show of that so let's go ahead and install it really easy to install of course you go to Cody.tv from Cody.tv there's a tab here up at the top you want to go ahead and click downloads all right from the downloads tab you will scroll down you'll see now I'm doing the, the Windows version um, you know it's, it's basically the same for all the versions whether it's Android um, iOS or Mac or um, Linux what have you um, you just have to find the right version so I'm gonna go down here scroll down as you can see right there is the current release Kodi 17.0 here's all the different uh, versions of it if you have an Android device you'll probably want to select ARM ARM um, if you scroll down a little bit more you'll see they do have a, I'm assuming like a beta version of 18 which they're working on which is codenamed Leia Leia as in uh, Princess Leia from Star Wars so that's a uh, tribute to Carrie Fisher uh, of course there's the different versions of that here's uh, for some remotes and stuff we won't get into that right now but if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see older releases older releases right there and if you click the link it opens up a new page and you have the different versions of that whether it's Android Windows whatever if we go in the Windows version you'll see there it is, 16.1 Jarvis. That was the late, the the last version, um, the one that most people are used to. Uh, but like I said, 17.0 is the latest version. Just came out uh, a few couple of weeks ago, maybe a week ago. And uh, over here it says February 1st, so today's the 11th, so 11 days ago. So anyway, let me get back here. We're going to scroll back up. This, like I said, is Cody.tv, and then click the downloads tab at the top scroll down to where it says current release Cody version 17.0 Krypton and we are going to click the link that we want depending on our um, you know our OS I'm going to hit the Windows installer there we go brings up my downloads folder there it is it's going to put it in the downloads folder and name it that so let's go ahead and say save it's going to take a few seconds so uh, yeah I'll pause it here and I'll be right back all right so it's uh, completely installed and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start it. You can of course click here, click in your downloads folder wherever you wherever you installed it. But I'm just going to click right here. All right, do I accept this? Yes, I'm going to say that, even though it's an unknown publisher. It says here, but you can uh, you can trust Cody. All right, first screen we're going to hit next, of course, and I agree. Next, and this is where it's going to put it on your computer. Of course, you can edit that if you want, but uh, I'm just going to leave it the default setting. Hit next and wanted to make the Kodi shortcut say install and yeah this too is going to take a couple seconds so let's uh, let's pause it here alright so you can see that it did install you can of course hit the, either the run Kodi or you can just hit finish if you just hit finish you can then go to the the folder that it was uh, that it installed it to and run it but uh, in my case I'm just going to hit run right here and hit finish should bring it up. Sure enough, there it is. There is the Superman logo, right? So here is the main screen of Cody 17.0. A little bit different than 16.1. Things are laid out a, diff a bit different. 16.1, of course, had all the different options down ac going across. This one has it all on the side. You can scroll up and down, of course, see the different uh, options. And um, here's the settings. Here's to uh, to turn off Cody. And here's to search. All right, so uh, as you can see, you got the different options here. You got uh, movie and TV shows. This is where you, if you set up, um, you know, set it up so you can like, you can set it up to save your movies so you can, uh, 
you know, keep up with what you watched, what you didn't watch yet. You can keep up with TV shows, which will keep up with your current episodes and that kind of thing, which I can do in a in a in a in a, in a video pretty soon. Which I do have it already, how to set up files and that kind of thing. But it's a it's 16.1, a little bit different than this one. But uh, this one actually is a little bit easier. But anyway, um, get out of there. You got your music and your CD. I'm sorry, CD, your DVD drive, you got your music videos, TV, which you can add, a PVR and that kind of thing, yeah, set it up, uh, radio, you got your different add-ons, which of course is your, co your I'm sorry, your Exodus or your Zen or your Phoenix, whatever you use as add-ons, um, you got your picture, videos, favorites, and your weather, okay, so that of course I'll set up or show you later on, but if you go into uh, settings, let's take a look at a couple of the settings player settings just some normal stuff you can tell it how long you know play the next video automatically yes or no get your CDs and all that kind of thing nothing standard there as I say standard by the way I'm going to turn mine to expert just so I have all the different options alright so we're going to right click to go back media settings of course your library that's what I was talking about earlier with the TV shows and the movies in the first screen you can set up your libraries so it will keep up with the latest uh, you know your latest episodes and that kind of thing of course you have to have an add-on that supports libraries which I know salts does I'm not sure what other ones do but salts will keep up with those um, those libraries but uh, anyway you got that you got different things here you can see all those different options nothing major in here blah 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 there's the different options so uh, yeah but but okay in your PVR and TV or your live TV but uh, here's service. Let's check out this one. Um, here's weather. If you want weather on there, some people use it, some people don't. I don't necessarily use it because I'll look at weather somewhere else. But if you want to use or you want to look at your weather uh, forecast from here, you can go down here and click weather or select weather and go up here. We want to add, um, add a source for your weather. If I click that, of course, there's none in here, uh, but you can click get more. And these are the ones that are provided by Cody themselves, a bunch of different ones. Um, I usually use Weather Underground, but if, in this case, let's just use the Yahoo one. A lot easier to set up. It's installing the Weather app. All right, there you go. Now you want to go to your settings and put in your zip code for where you live. Mine is 32408. I live in Panama City Beach, Florida. Go say OK. Give it just a second do its thing. All right, it's asking me where I want Florida. There we go. And say OK. Now if we right click out of this, go back to the main menu, there we go, go back down to, uh, to weather, as you can see there it is, it's updated, as you can see my weather is going to be pretty freaking awesome for the next few days, it's going to get a little cooler next week, but uh, yeah, nice, up in the 70s today, beautiful, 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 alright, but anyway, so that was in the settings, and that was in interface, right, now of course a lot of people don't like, and I don't, in particular, I don't like the way the screensaver, if you leave it off for a couple seconds, it, it uh, if you don't touch the, the mouse for a couple seconds, it goes real dim. I don't like that, so I like to turn that off. I think that's under, is that under interface? Yeah, if you go under interface, there's your skin. That's the way this looks, right? That's the way the way Cody looks. You can change it. There's a lot of different people that create new skins for this, so you can always add a different skin by clicking there, of course, and adding you know whatever skins that are available let's go to get more and see what Cody provides <coughs> excuse me yeah see there's quite a few different skins that Cody provides you can go through those and see how you like those but uh, I like the default ones estuary uh, but in there of course oh by the way in the skins you can change the colors and everything else if you don't like the blue if you want it red or something you can change it to a different color here you go all kinds of different colors but I'm gonna cancel that I don't want to change it um, there you go but I like to change is the screen saver right I don't want it to dim the screen so I click that I will change it to none so it will not uh, it will not go dim don't like that at all I'm not sure why they have that why it automatically by default does that but uh, anyway here's your bunch of different things skin options how certain things looked uh, by the way in the skin settings you can go in here and say there's a menu item at the front let's go back Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, this is the main screen of Cody. Um, say you don't want, I don't know, say you don't want your weather up here. Okay, maybe you want to get rid of the weather. So let's go, I'll show you how to do that. You can hit the settings and under skin settings, uh, main menu items. If you go down here, you can select ones you don't want, right? Say I don't want weather. Let's get rid of that. 
I don't want weather, and I don't want, um, no, I don't want radio. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back. Right click, right click. As you can see, here's the menu section. There's no radio. And I'm scrolling up and down. That's as far as it goes. There's no weather, no radio. So it's really simple to, to edit. Really, really nice. All right, let's go back into the settings again. What else we got? Profiles. Now you can set up different profiles. Say you like yours to look a certain way when you go into Cody. But say you your wife likes it another way. All right? You can change different profiles. Of course, this is the master profile that it created, but you can add more profiles. That way here you can go into the different profiles and have it go straight to the profile section at startup if you want to. So, really really nice option. System settings, you got your display, a bunch of different things. If you want to change resolutions, that kind of thing. There's really nothing in here you got to really change, unless you really want to go really get, uh, you know, down and dirty, really change some, you know, nitpicks, little things that you like. But uh, system information here's, you know, here's how much memory you got, the IP address, and all that stuff. So, yep, let's go ahead and get out of there. Event logs, file manager. Now, okay, so let's go back to the main menu. In Cody 16.1 and before. Um, in order to add an add-on, say you wanted to add the um, Exodus add-on, which provides for current movies or new movies and TV shows, uh, or, or say Phoenix or any of those different add-ons. First thing you got to do is you got to provide a source. Now, in in Cody, the or I'm sorry, in the previous version, 16.1, you would go to the settings section and go down, and there's a thing that says File Manager. Well, it's not as easy to fi find File Manager in here. Um, what I found is you go here to, to the settings little icon. There's File Manager. So you click that, and here's where you would add your source. Double click that, and you would add your source. And once you added your source, you then have to go provide the location of the zip file and then the repository and all that. Well, if you again go all the way back, if you go to the add on section now, right here is where you would add, you click that. This is where you would install from a zip file, install from a repository. So everything's pretty easy to find. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna show all that at a later video. Um, this is just how to install and a quick little how to use Kodi. Pretty nice, uh, pretty nice interface that they've created. Um, so yeah, I will uh, end it here. But like I said, check back a little bit later. I will have videos on how to install the different add-ons to Kodi. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.